our number one sports team is in full effect today as we break down Super Bowl 54. Matt and Mandy both here. All right, big game. Is this a matchup you thought would happen the first of the season? Uh, you know, I think a lot of people thought maybe the Patriots, because why wouldn't you think the Patriots after right. the last several years? But, uh, you know, I think we thought maybe Patrick Mahomes was coming along, and it was just kind of a matter of time. So I certainly expected the Chiefs to be here. I don't know if we expected the, the 49ers to rebound this quickly. Yeah, I mean, I, I absolutely thought that the Ravens were actually going to make it to the uh, Super Bowl, but I did have an idea that the 49ers could have, just because Jimmy Garoppolo, you know, being an understudy of Tom Brady for such a long time, and, you know, after he tore his ACL, that really, you know, put a damper, obviously, on their season. So I had a slight idea, yeah. but I did not think that it would be the Chiefs and uh, the 49ers. Would you guys be so bold as to say who you like in the game, or you know. I, I, I tell you what, I, I go back and forth on this a lot. Yeah. I've been going back and forth because when you look at offenses and you look at defenses, usually in this game it's the defense that wins. You think to a couple years ago, Peyton Manning with the Broncos, yeah. the, 40, or the, the Seattle Seahawks, the Legion of Boom, they came in and you know took it to that offense, shut down that offense. You think the last year the Rams high flying offense shut down by the Patriots. So most of the time, defense does win in these kinds of games, but then you look at not a lot of teams have a Patrick Mahomes. He has that yard ball, yeah. you know, you know, loosey goosey mentality where you could have everyone covered up, and then he's gonna run, run, and almost run out of bounds and flip it over his head or no look pass or something silly like that. So he's a guy that you can't really prepare for. I think it's really interesting how the 49ers just a few years ago was a horrible team, and that coach has turned them around from being a sub 500 team. To now we're in the Super Bowl. Yeah, well, I mean, Kyle Shanahan, I mean, when he was with the Falcons, he did great things. And, of course, uh, you know, he actually has known Garoppolo for several years now. And, uh, I mean, I think that he's definitely had a lot of success. And it's kind of exciting because, of course, you know, he also uh, has some Texas roots. I mean, there's a lot of Texas roots. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit uh, later in, in the show. But, um, yeah, definitely, uh, you know, I don't know. It's good for the 49ers for sure. Yeah. You guys sat down with the coach, right, to get a kind of a, a coach's perspective on this? Yes, absolutely. Uh, UMHB head uh, football coach Pete Friedenberg, you know, we were talking uh, the X's and O's of the Super Bowl, and he has a uh, personal connection uh, with the uh, Kansas City Chiefs. So, uh, we'll, uh, yeah, well, we can uh, check that one out if uh, we want to take a look at that to see uh, what we actually, you know, caught up on and everything. <laughs> Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes has Texas roots, playing at White House High School in East Texas, and then Texas Tech for Cliff Kingsbury, who Pete Friedenberg is very close with. Cliff and I have talked about him a lot. Um, Cliff thought the world of him and thought he was a tremendous competitor, and, and I really believe that Cliff does a fantastic job of teaching young quarterbacks to grow up, and obviously he's done a, a fantastic job with Patrick. Coach Kingsbury, I, I always say, took me from as an athlete, a uh, baseball player on the mound, to to making me a quarterback and teaching me how to go through progressions, teaching me how to read coverages, and also just and helping me build and become a, a young man. I mean, it, he was someone that was truly impactful in my life, and, uh, something that uh, I truly treasure every single time I get to talk to him. The Chiefs have the number two passing offense, and in their two playoff games, Mahomes has thrown for over 600 yards, eight touchdowns, and no interceptions. Get your hands on that. Mahomes will be facing a team in San Francisco who's number one in total defense and rushing defense, the perfect recipe for a strength-on-strength strength showdown. You know, I am a defensive coach, and so you always lean toward the defensive side, but keeping him in the pocket is what the big challenge will be. I think the separation is that just what Kansas City and uh, Patrick Mahomes has been able to do when they get down is they rally their teams and they can score a lot of points very quickly. I don't know if the 49ers can do that, but it's going to be a wonderful world championship. After running back Tevin Coleman dislocated his shoulder in the NFC Championship, 49ers second string back Raheem Moster became a household name overnight, putting up career best numbers of 220 rushing yards for four touchdowns. Raheem's earned everything he's gotten, and the more he's gotten out there, he's handled that great, the pressure week in and week out, and um, a lot of people get worse with that type of stuff, and Raheem's only gotten better. It's crazy that I've been on seven different teams. I actually still have, um, you know, the cut dates, and I look at that every, every, before every game. Oh, yeah, the 49ers run game will be tested in Miami as the Chiefs shut down Derrick Henry in the AFC Championship, holding him to 69 rushing yards and one touchdown after Henry combined for over 400 yards from scrimmage and a score against the Ravens and Patriots. Yeah, that's going to be really interesting because, I, you know, I'm kind of the old school and I think you've got to establish the run first and, uh, you know, bad things happen when you have to throw it. The thing that I've been most impressed by the 49ers, however, is that 
uh, they're going to do whatever they need to do to win the ball game, and that's play great defense and then to move the ball on the ground. Now with all the cards on the table, it's time to hear who Coach Fredenberg thinks will win Super Bowl 54. Well, I've always believed the people that uh, play the best defense will always win, and that's just kind of my background and my, my history. And so if that's the case, then you got to got to pull for the 49ers. But, you know, uh, my heart wants me to pull for the Chiefs. So, of course, uh, you know, uh, Coach Frenberg, he wants the uh, Chiefs to win his heart. So it's kind of interesting, you know, your heart and your brain, kind of a little bit of a different thing. Yeah. But uh, I think his heart could come out happy in this one, though. There you go. Yeah. We come back, you've got one more interview that's pretty exclusive. Yeah, right? absolutely, yes. Our running back, JV, on Sunday from Waco Connolly, he, he and I talked about how special the Super Bowl is to him and how he's going to make it to the NFL one day. There you go. Nice. We'll be right back.